IQ-110s, shipping since the spring of 2012, have a built-in feature called Max Blow. In Max Blow, the variable speed blower will always blow at 100% of its maximum speed, and the lid off detection is disabled. In order to enable Max Blow, you first apply power to the IQ-110, when it first comes up it displays red and then green flashes. This indicates the software version. The red flash is the major version and the green flash is the minor version. We'll do it again and count flashes. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This indicates it's running version 1.7. The max blow feature was first introduced in version 1.6. So if you have version 1.6 or version 1.7 or something later, it will have the feature built in. I'm going to restart. First we get our version. Then after this is done, the blower will ramp up and ramp back down as part of the power on self test. The whole thing takes about 15 seconds, the version flash and the blower. At any time during this, if you rotate the knob all the way back and forth two times, the LED starts flashing rapidly, in this case red. That means we just put it into max blow mode. Then it automatically reboots, flashes a software version, the blower test starts again. Let's do it again to take it back out of max blow. Now it's flashing green rapidly, indicating it's back to normal mode. Now it reboots again, shows you the version code, and one more time we'll put it back into max blow. Rotate it all the way back and forth two times. Flashing red, we're in max blow, and we'll leave it there for this unit. Uh, max blow is good for uh, gravity feed, in fact it was invented for gravity feed cookers like Rebels and Stomps and Superiors, things like that where you don't want the lid off detection and uh, the fire is, uh, you have a fairly small firebox where uh, you want maximum airflow. And it's good for other pits too. Um, now note that the IQ-110 does ship in, in normal mode and if you want max blow you'll have to enable this yourself. Thank you for watching this video.